Hi, my name is Ken Colby. I'm the author of Green Screen Wizard. Today I'd like to take the opportunity to explain some of the exciting new features of Green Screen Wizard 6.0. The first feature is a new green screening algorithm that does better extraction and better color correction and will make all your green screen images look a little better. The other new feature is called the Pick Adjust button. And when you click this, the system goes through and adjusts the green screen algorithm sliders uh, to create 12 different variations of, the, of uh, the slider settings. This way you don't have to go in and try all the combinations of sliders which can get a little complicated. All you have to do is find an image that you like. And so when we go through here, uh, we can see that here the veil is uh, a little too green and here the veil is just right. So let's go with that. So you just pick out of a gallery of adjusted images and away you go. So that's all there is to it. So this should save a lot of uh, time and effort for people, but more importantly for novices that aren't really sure what all these controls do, you uh, still can get great results. Now this is also you can see how well the, the new green screen algorithm is working. We have a nice transparent veil here. But unfortunately, we have green flowers that aren't green anymore. So now the last and greatest feature of 6.0, the new airbrush editor. And I'm so excited about this editor because it just fixes so many problems for you. And it's also easy to use and fun. So let's check it out. You've got nine buttons that have to do with green screening and six buttons, just basic editing. So the first button, and for each button, there's a what we call a control block. So you can see as I change the the different brush buttons, uh, we get different control blocks. And what can it do? Well, I'll just buzz through these quickly because later I'm going to make a more detailed how-to uh, video, but I just want you to have a flavor. So you can erase the image. You can restore things like the green and the flowers. You can blend to do ghosting. We have an amazing hairbrush editor that or hairbrush that I'll show you that given the color of the hair can do really amazing restoration of the hair. Um, we have the filter button which does the same thing as the hair button except it's designed to work with cloth. And then we have a blend edges button which will smooth out edges. Spill which will, will repair any green spill that came onto the dress. Uh, you can restore black and you can make whiters white. White things whiter. Sometimes things get a little pink with the algorithm. Then you have uh, six um, buttons that are used for just normal editing. You can blur. We have the smooth function that's designed to smooth out women's skin, which I think uh, will delight all your female um, customers. A copy button to copy images around. A brightness button to make things brighter and darker, more or less contrast and finally you can paint. So let's see the editor in action now. So the first thing let's do is let's take a look at the filter here. And So first thing we have to do is grab a filter color. So we'll grab the white of her dress and you'll see that the filter is actually doing, even though the algorithm did very well, the filter is actually doing better. So now we've got a really excellent uh, mathematical restoration of the veil. But if we want even more we can go in and we can actually erase parts of the veil. Now we don't want to erase it totally, so we set our transparency down a little bit and we just go through. And there you go. Beautiful transparent veil. What about these flowers? Well, uh, we want to restore those, but by default if, if we restore, there's nothing nothing green will be restored, so we've got to check this little restore org image button and now the original green image will start coming back. And there you go. Now the last thing that's kind of a problem with this is the um, little stumps here. So let's go in and see if our copy button can fix that. So we go down and we click A which is on the keyboard for anchor and then we just copy down that ribbon and cover up the, the bad stones. So there you go. 
a beautiful image. So let's try something else. What if we had a flawed background? So here we have a beautiful bathing suit image. But if we get rid of this sort of black area, then her hair is going to disappear as well. So we go into the airbrush editor. We tell it we'd like to erase. We want to erase everything now. We don't want it transparent. But we also have this button that says, and you can see here if I erase this, it'll erase her arm. But um, we have this undo button. I can click erase only green areas, and I don't have to be quite so careful because it will only erase the green areas. So it's very easy to fix up any flaws in the screen uh, that you might have. So that's that. Now let's look at a more dramatic hair example. So there's a little green in the hair, so we could do the pick adjust, or we could just skip that and go right to the editor. So here we want to try out the hair button, and you can see one of the problems is which hair color do we use? And I think we'll pick sort of a medium hair color. If that doesn't work out, we can go back in and actually uh, try a different color. But this color seems to be doing pretty well. And now you can see how we get every individual little hair to come back. Now this, this is designed to extract hair in a green area. It's not designed to make hair different or a different color. So, some, so you basically just roll it around the outside of the, of the hair. So there's that. But what if we just want to use the airbrush editor for its name, just to airbrush a photo? So we can do that too. Here's a beautiful woman and a, and a nice, nice portrait. Uh, I don't really like that background though, so let's pull in a different background. And just do a little adjust image to scale it out. Because I don't really like those curtains for her. Okay. Close. Edit. So we can use the hairbrush, but her hair has already been extracted pretty well. Oops, let's try another. There we go. And you may not be seeing this, but that is a little better extraction. But now we can also zoom in on our subject. Yeah, that's a little too dramatic. Okay, and we can do, uh, remember that smooth button I talked about? So we're going to turn our radius down since we have things so blown up. And you can see how the smooth button is just making all that skin look a little better. And yet we haven't lost any details in the eyes or anywhere else. Now if we need to be more dramatic, we can always paint. And when you paint, um, just make the radius kind of small again. And the first thing you do, you can either use the eyedropper to grab the, the color, or you can press C on the keyboard. So you grab a color close to where you want to paint, Oop, and you can see that's just going to be way too much paint. So you don't want to do that. What you want to do is turn this transparency way down. So you're just getting a little hint of color. And what that does is you go over the image more and more. In fact, I think we could use a little more here. Start to paint out any flaw you have. All right. Now, what's this other thing for? This is for if we want to choose a color. For example, let's say we wanted to give her some more purple eyeshadow. Again, we have the radius very tiny. And we can just go in and just give her a hint of eyeshadow. And there you go. We have the little home button to bring it back out. And voila, an improved portrait. Now obviously I could take a little more time with that, but for those uh, times when you're charging $200 for a portrait, you can spend 15 minutes making it just perfect now. So that's basically the... Um, Green Screen Wizard 6.0, the new algorithm, the Pick Adjust button, and of course the full airbrush editor. Current users of Green Screen Wizard can upgrade for the difference in the price. I'm sorry, the price is uh, $200 for Green Screen Wizard Pro Studio with editor, 
and uh, $250 for the same functionality as Green Screen Wizard Pro with Editor, except with all the batch features added. So, current customers can upgrade for the difference in the price of what they paid versus what they'd like to get. And we hope you guys will all buy and upgrade and enjoy all the new features of Green Screen Wizard 6.0. Thank you very much.